Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shi Jun Wang. In today's video, I am going to teach you how to play all the major scales hands together within 10 minutes. That's my goal, 10 minutes. So this is probably the most boring topic, but the most necessary topic for all the piano students. Um, it's okay to play hands alone, but when we put hands together, it's confusing because we need to have uh, many, many turnover or turning under, uh, we have to switch fingers, but at the same time, um, we have to face that between the two hands, they don't always switch their position at the same time. That's where it gets tricky. However, uh, many music colleges, conservatories, uh, they require everyone, even violin majors, to be able to play scales hands together. And that's my main focus here is to teach you how the fingering works. There are tricks. You don't need to play it um, a thousand times to build up your muscle memory, but you can have some uh, guidance when you're trying to put hands together. Okay, there are mainly three rules that can help you to learn all the 12 major skills. The first rule what is what I call common finger rule. The common finger rule you can apply to C major, G major, D, A, and E major. So basically from uh, all white keys to one sharp, two sharp up until four sharp. So common finger meaning in these five keys, the third note and then the, th the sixth note, you will use both hands, you will be using number finger number three. note in this key. For instance, if somebody asked me to play A major, then the first thing I think is, okay, C sharp is the third note, F sharp is the sixth note, so on those notes, I have to use finger threes for both hands. Okay. Of course, at the end, all finger switchings is just one, two, three, one, two, three, four in different rotations, but they start at different points in different keys, okay? But this one, you always start with one, two, three in the right hand, okay? So um, here we have C, G, D, A, and E, all take care of. major and then G flat major. So basically all the keys that will require us to have all the black keys played. And there are two types of black key groups, right? The two black keys group and then the three black keys group. And that's actually the genius way of how the, the designer of the piano uh, get to us. Uh, that's where we can locate if that's the C or F. So the two black keys group we will be using two and three between the both hands, and then the three black keys group will be using two, three, and four. And of course, we don't always use them at the same time. Right when left hand is using four, right hand is using two, right because of the mirror image of the hands. Right, it's symmetrical. It's not this way. Okay, so B major. On we know the two black keys will be using two and three, and three and two in the left hand. Then right hand will start with one, left hand will start with four. And all white keys will be using our pinky. Oh, no, our thumb. One. And then four, left hand, two, right hand. And in the key of D flat, then we will start with the black key. Two and three, three and two. Sharps or flat. 
that's much easier to learn. Okay, the next group is a little bit hard because you, then you have to separate your two brains to make it somehow uh, apply into different rules. Okay, the next three keys we're going to learn is E flat, A flat, and the B flat. These three keys, the left hand has the same fingering, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. That's just something we have to remember. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, or B flat. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Okay. For right hand, we apply the black keys rules. You might ask why you have to apply for black keys rules even without all the black keys, but see, if we have E flat, we start with three, and here we don't have G flat, but we have G natural, but we still apply to the same black keys rule, two, three, four, and then we don't have B flat, but we apply for the two and three rule. For A flat, we start with three, four, because that's the, according to the black keys rule, two, three, here we don't have G flat, but we still use two. That's what I mean by applying for black keys rule even without all the black keys. So that rule takes care of E flat, A flat, and then B flat. B flat is a little bit hard because it doesn't have a lot of black keys, but still we use four to begin, and then two and three on these two notes, two, three, four on these. Okay. So now that's 11 already, 11 out of 12, that's not too bad, right? Um, the exception is F major, because if we want to apply this to the C major fingering, we will have to change to 1 on the 4th note, but here, if you change to 1, you have a black key, and that's rule number 1 in all the scale fingering no thumbs on the black key. So here, we will use 4, and then 1, 2, 3, and then the left hand fingering is the same as C major. So I hope you enjoyed this very short and concise uh, episode of skill fingering learning. And these rules are not something I was told, um, I just did the mindless and endless a method of playing many many times when I was really young age and then uh, I build muscle memory but now that I start to teach classes and teach my students how to play skills I figure out these rules hopefully that for for those of you who are watching this episode it will make your life much easier in finding the correct fingering of hands together all major skills on piano. Thank you for watching.